Okay, everybody, welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. We're going to be looking at doing some 3D printing today. So we're going to export a schematic from our Minecraft world and throw it onto the 3D printer, which is there behind us. See what happens. Okay, so here we are in Minecraft Education Edition, and we've loaded up our Infinity Cube from a previous video, which you can check out, but we're looking at structure blocks. So over to our inventory, drag in a structure block there, and pop it down uh, next to your structure. I like to put it down just in the uh, ground there next to it. And you can see, if I just adjust the settings here, we can draw a boundary box around our structure to make sure it's um, close to the edges of the structure, but not cutting any of it off obviously, and I have done a video on this before, but uh, if you click export, uh, it will ask you where you want to save your GLB file to. So we're gonna call it Infinity Cube, and we're going to save it onto the desktop, okay? Right, so what we then need to do, of course, is uh, convert our GLB file. Uh, the printer that we use here uh, uses STL files, so we've got a little website here, and the link will be in the description. Just drag in your GLB file, convert it to an STL file, click download now, and it will pop up there in your download folder. So we're going to open up our um, dashboard for our 3D printer. I'm gonna print an STL file, click upload, and we're just going to um, open our brand new STL file there. And uh, here is our Infinity Cube, and that's as big as we can make it, um, although that's gonna to take too long. that take like eight hours or something. Um, it's printing it kind of on its side, which isn't which is not choice, uh, but that's fine, because when we take it off, it won't matter. We're gonna leave um, all of these settings the same, so the quality and strength the same, and um, there will be some support structure as well. So this is taking five hours and 12 minutes. That's gonna do 87 grams of plastic, and we're going to click print, and uh, watch a super cool time-lapse of this being built. Okay, so here we have the almost finished Infinity Cube. Um, the printer kind of crashed when it got to this top layer. And you can see some of the support structure here that's ready to print this final section. And the raft at the bottom all needs to be cut away. A uh, pair of scissors is really good for that. Uh, so if you get a pair of scissors, you can cut away a lot of this part really easily. Uh, just to show you what it would have looked like on a slightly different scale. Um, here's one that I made earlier, and this one's uh, been printed off on a much smaller scale. But you can see the, uh, from the right angle, it looks pretty good still. And I just printed this one a lot smaller, so it didn't take as long. Uh, but it works really nicely. And uh, if you can have time to play around with the settings a little bit, you can get stuff that looks quite good. Um, so let's head back over to Minecraft now and look at how we can potentially use this in the classroom. Okay, so what I've done here is I've put my class, some of my students, into the Make and Model um, for Team Plaza, which you can uh, get over at Immersive Minds website, links in the description. And um, they're just doing a 10-minute build challenge here. I've kind of sped this up so you can see what's going on. Now, this is a really cool idea um, because this map actually has structure blocks built in. You can show the bounding box so the students can uh, build something within that. And you can talk about what kind of things are good for a 3D printer. So things like pencil holders uh, for the classroom, things like that are really good ideas. Um, little personalized uh, badges and things that they can have around. Um, you can put those in and then adjust the size when you're done. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Links are in the description for any of those things. Um, it was a shame that the cube didn't work this morning, uh, but I have decided we're gonna print again. So it's just printing over there again, and we'll hopefully, if, uh, if and when that prints properly, I'll post a picture of it in the community tab and on the Facebook page so you guys can check it out. Um, but uh, the, one that, the one that did work, I cut the raft away, and it's nearly there. It's just this top section here needs sorting out. Um, so it's mostly there, and there's the little one as well. And the students like having these around uh, in the classroom because actually when they are creating their infinity cubes, 
as part of our Infinity Cube lesson when we were coding that with the agent. Um, having one of these handy is super, super useful uh, to see how many blocks your agent needs to move. You can put it on paper, draw next to it and stuff like that. So lots of really cool uses for the 3D printer. Um, anyway, we're going to finish up there. More videos on some mods coming later in the week. So uh, subscribe if you want to check that out. And I'll see you all later on in the week. Thank you.